Hey guys, so uh, I don't normally make reading list updates, at least not very often, but uh, I kind of just wanted to put this out there so you guys know what I'm working on, know what I'm going to get to soon, and also, like, there's a lot of people who will s give me suggestions in the comments, say, hey, you should read this, you should read that, or have you considered reading this, and I just kind of want to get all this out of the way so that you know, like, okay, he'll get to that eventually, and, you know, just stuff like that. Just, I want to let you know where I'm going. And, uh, uh, man, I gotta wait a little longer because I want to pad this out to ten minutes in one second. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. So, what I'm currently reading is, uh, The Red Knight by Miles Cameron. And this one is, uh, not super popular. Uh, I'm about 40% done with it. It's, uh, it's interesting, to say the least. It's just about a group of mercenaries that are hired to protect a, uh, nun's convent from dragons and shit, and I'm only about 40% done. I have mixed feelings on it so far. Like, it's not awful, it's not great, I, I, I don't know, you'll, you'll see what I mean when I get around to reviewing it. And also, I don't have it right now, but uh, I will be reading The Autumn Republic, which is the finale of the Powder Mage trilogy, as soon as I get a chance. Uh, I, if I get it soon, then I will finish it and then I will read it before I finish The Red Knight, so you'll be getting that review first, but uh, if it takes longer, then you'll get The Red Knight review first. It's just, you know, that's what happens, and uh, I am excited to read this one, though. You know, I wasn't a big fan of the first Powder Mage book, but the second one was really good. After that, we've got Gardens of the Moon, which is uh, the first book in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series, and people have been telling me to read this forever. It, uh, it seems interesting. You know, it's just about an empire conquering its neighbors and shit, and, you know, that, that sounds interesting enough. I haven't gotten a lot of specifics about what it's about, though, so we'll see if I agree with the crowd on that one or not. After that, we've got The Alloy of Law, which is, uh, you know, it's a sequel series to Mistborn, if you didn't know. So it's like, it's on the planet Scadriel, it's just a couple hundred years later, so technology has advanced and shit. And that one, I am excited to read. People keep telling me it's even better than the original Mistborn trilogy, not sure if I buy into that, just because I fucking loved the original Mistborn trilogy, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. From this point on, it's not in any particular order, uh, but we've got The People of the Raven. Now, some of you might remember that long time ago, easily a year and a half ago, or almost two years ago, something like that, I read a book called uh, The People of the Wolf, and that one was just a story about how the first Native Americans came to North America. And this one is a little different. It's based around the this uh, archaeological find called the Kennewick Man, which was a skeleton found in the Pacific Northwest somewhere, and the skeleton appeared to be a white guy, a Caucasian male, and it was several thousand years old, and they're wondering, well, okay, how did, how did a white guy get here several thousand years before contact between Eurasia and the Americas was made? And so, that's just like a fictionalized version of how he got there, and I actually read a little bit of it a while ago, back when I first got it. It's it's interesting so far. We'll we'll see how it goes. Then we've got On Basilisk Station by David Weber, and that is the first book in the Honor Harrington series. And I remember at the beginning of this year, I said I wanted to read a lot more sci-fi, uh, and I just I haven't been doing that. Uh, it, you know. Just, you know, shit happens. I've just been continuing to read a bunch of fantasy, and I'm not upset about it. But, you know, uh, I've heard Honor Harrington is really good military sci-fi, and I have read some of David Weber's work before, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. I, I am optimistic about this. I'm not going to say I'm excited, but I am optimistic to see where this goes. And I've also been wanting to make a more uh, bigger scripted analytical video about military sci-fi, and I think if I'm going to be doing that at some point, I should read a little more, because I haven't really been reading it for the past couple of years. And then we've got Better to Beg Forgiveness by Michael Z. Williamson, and that one is just, uh, that one's just more military sci-fi, you know, it has an absolutely horrible cover, which means that the book itself is either just going to be the worst schlock I've ever read, or it'll actually be pretty good. And you really can't tell until you've already read it, so... You know, we'll see where that goes. Like I said, I just wanted to read more military sci-fi, and I saw that in the store. I was like, why not? Let's check it out. So there's my reading list. Uh, everything is subject to change, especially the stuff later on in the list, which I don't have in any particular order. And 
Well, yeah, that, that's everything. We are not at 10 minutes yet.